Mr. Roy, can you help me with my mathematics assignment? Which of these two fractions is bigger than the other? Sure, Sam. But first, let's find out who is taller between Tanya and you. Okay, whatever. Hey, that's not fair. Tanya is standing on top of this platform. You can't compare our heights as the base is not level or common. You are right, Sam. This is exactly what happens with fractions as well. You can't compare two fractions if their denominator is not common. In other words, you can compare one upon two with two upon five only after their denominator is made the same. I don't get it, Mr. Roy. Let me explain through an example of say this chocolate bar. Here we make two parts and count one part to represent the fraction 1 upon 2. Out here we make five parts. Two of these make the fraction 2 upon 5. As you observe, both these bars have 10 small chocolate pieces each. So this one part here is in fact 5 pieces of chocolate and these two parts here have 4 pieces. So the fraction 1 upon 2 can be written as 5 upon 10 and the fraction 2 upon 5 is written as 4 upon 10. Mr. Roy, it's now clear. The 5 pieces on the left are more than the 4 here on the right. Correct Sam, you have your answer already. Since 5 here is greater than 4, the fraction 5 upon 10 is also greater than 4 upon 10. As a result, the fraction 1 upon 2 is bigger than 2 upon 5. This is because even if they look different, these fractions have actually the same value. Such fractions are called equivalent fractions. I understood the concept very well Mr. Roy. But how do I write the solution to this problem? To solve this problem, just multiply by 5 the numerator and denominator in the fraction 1 upon 2. This gives us the equivalent fraction 5 upon 10. And here, multiply the numerator and denominator in the fraction 2 upon 5 with 2 to get 4 upon 10. Now you see, the denominator is the same. So just compare the numerators. The fraction with the bigger numerator is bigger than the other fraction. Got it, Mr. Roy. One more question. How do we know we have to get 10 as a denominator and not 20 or 40 or any other number? Good question. If you observe carefully, the number 10 here, as a matter of fact, is the lowest common multiple or LCM of the numbers 2 and 5. Another example. Let's look at these two fractions. 5 upon 12 and 4 upon 9. Which one of these is bigger? We shall know by following these steps. First we find the LCM of the denominators 9 and 12. This is 36. Next we have to create equivalent fractions such that their denominator is 36. In 5 upon 12, we know 12 multiplied by 3 is 36. So we multiply the numerator by 3 as well. The equivalent fraction is 15 upon 36. On the other hand, 9 times 4 is 36. So we multiply the numerator as well by 4 to get the equivalent fraction 16 upon 36. Now that the denominators are same, we compare the numerators. 15 is less than 16, so the fraction 5 upon 12 is also less than 4 upon 9. Tell me what happens if the numerators are equal when comparing fractions. Let's look at our example of the chocolate bar once again. Divide this bar into 5 parts and make 10 parts of the chocolate bar here. As a result, the denominators are 5 and 10 respectively. Now because we want the same numerator value, let's say we count 3 parts in each of these chocolate bars to get the fractions 3 upon 5 
and 3 upon 10. As you can clearly see, these 3 parts on the left are bigger than the 3 parts here on the right. The reason is simple. We divided the chocolate bar on the right into much smaller pieces as compared to the one on the left. The bigger the denominator, the smaller are the parts. So when you have two fractions with the same numerator, just compare their denominators. The bigger the denominator, the smaller will be that fraction. And the smaller the denominator, the bigger is the fraction. Wow, this is great. Mr. Roy, I just cannot compare this lesson with the one in my textbook.